What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Mindless Horror Podcast. With us, we have some very special guests. We're here at Midsummer Scream with, of course, my co-host, Sammy. Uh, we got Kim and Kat Stay Alive, maybe. Hello. Hi. If you guys aren't familiar with their podcast, they're a horror comedy podcast, and they do um, this fun game where they see if each of them would survive a horror movie. I'm in love with the show. Tell me a little bit about how this got together. How did this start? How did this, um, how did this come together? Well, Catcher wanted to do a podcast, and she's like, what can we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> and a couple ideas popped up, and we were like, what do we like? Uh, and horror movies came up. And then I kind of just like got hit with an idea of like doing like a choose your own adventure situation a little bit. Yeah. And that's it just like, you know, tumbleweeded into kind of what it is. Definitely. Uh, but it definitely was like it started with me wanting to talk to my best friend and record it. Oh and yeah. then like whatever we talk about was going to be whatever we talked about. But we Def. both love horror movies. So. So that's the same thing with our podcast. We're, we're like best friends and. I got him. I had to actually force him to get into horror. Uh, this guy is, he, he likes horror, don't get me wrong, but like, I have to force him to go see movies like Annabelle and stuff because he's like terrified of Are you into it now? Movies. No, no, definitely not. Uh, Tiny yeah. dolls are terrifying. Yeah. Well, everything is terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. We, were, we were down at the, uh, what is that called, Hall of Shadows. I was just on guard the entire time already, and we only were there for like half hour. The, what we have gotten a pretty big compliment that we have gotten about our podcast is that people like you who like have a desire to like horror but just don't yeah. are like oh now I can experience horror in a like horror movies but not be totally shit terrified definitely I, I find with your guys' podcast I could see the connection of how close you guys are as friends um, I compare it a lot to me and this guy because the way you guys have your podcast structured um, I like how every podcast you guys start off with a drink that's awesome <laughs> I think that we do too I, I think that's awesome <laughs> um, so I, and I love the way the podcast is structured from when you guys just tell some personal stories and then you get right into the horror movie um, and if you're going to watch your podcast, just be aware. Spoilers if you haven't seen any of the horror movies. Oh, we're only spoilers. They're like, only that's spoilers. all we are, spoilers. Yeah. But they have a fun, yeah. fun game that they play along. Tell us a little bit about how this game came to be. That's all you heard. So it, it's like, obviously, when you listen, it's the start of our podcast is um, the, it's a quote from Scream. Yeah. And it's when they call her, like, and they ask, you know, do you like scary movies? And she's like, no, it's always some dumb girl running up the stairs when she should be running out the front door. It's insulting. And so it's just the idea behind that where it's like, what would you do? Like in those moments when you're always yelling, like, don't go up, don't go upstairs, don't go upstairs, go out there, you know? Um, and it's like, what would you actually do if you really put yourself in there? And then also guessing what we think the characters are going to do, which yeah. is fun as well. Yeah, definitely. I, I also um, think when we decided to talk about horror, there are so many horror podcasts and there are so many people that know a lot more about the genre from a very technical standpoint Definitely. than we do. So we didn't want to come into this pretending like we're experts in the genre by any means. We're literally just fans. Yeah. So we wanted to come up with a way to talk about horror that nobody else was talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, we're, we're not going to go out there and review horror movies or pretend like we know everything there is to know. But we do know each other and we do know how to stay the fuck alive. There so. you go. Yeah, we do. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I love the game, the way it, the way it's played out. Um, you guys put yourself in these scenarios that the same people in the movies put them in the scenarios. You guys talk about how the characters... So if, if this character's going here, would you do it with them or would you go with them? I just listened to the Mid Midsummer podcast. <laughs> yeah. So we actually saw that in theaters the, the opening weekend, and there's a reason why we didn't review it because we just didn't understand it. We were like... Whoa, what just happened? You go from a guy who directs a movie like Hereditary, yeah. which like I completely understand, but then you watch Midsummer and you're just sitting there like Well, I'm gonna call my husband out for one second because I went I went to see it with him and at, I loved it. Yeah. But I will say at the end of it, I understand why people would walk out of it saying I don't get it. Because yeah. Eric was sort of like, what am I supposed to get out of this? Like, yeah. what, what do they want me to feel? Who do they want me to be on the other side of this movie? Yeah. And I was like, I think you're asking for too much. It's just a study on grief, I think. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't fucking know, but I feel like it was literally just a study on 
grief and how it feels like insanity and Definitely. how you will go to extreme measures to make the grief stop. Definitely. Yeah, I, I saw the message on that one, too, because, like, you see this, this girl and she's just dealing with, like, so much in her life from a bad relationship to, of course, her boyfriend being a dick. <laughs> Such a dick! And, and your guys' yeah. words. I, I, I was listening <laughs> to the podcast and just laughing at that. So... Basically, I, I'm pretty much, so what I do at work, I'm a custodian. So basically, I'm done with what I have to do. So I've been sitting in my office a lot, catching up with the podcast. And <laughs> I've been sewing, I've been sewing this vest like the last two weeks and I would just throw you on You sew that yourself? All of it, yeah. That is a very useful skill and I am impressed. Thank you very much. My, uh, be honest, my grandma taught me it. Yeah. I love that even more. Yeah. She okay. would sew all my gear before, and eventually I, I felt so bad that she was sewing a lot of patches on. So I was like, I, I, I want to learn that way. You don't have to keep doing it. That's so sweet. Yeah. Uh, actually, you guys were in her in neck of the woods the other way. She was actually lives out in, like, Washington. Oh. Yeah. What, what, what uh, part? Vancouver. Oh. Oh, so okay. Cool, 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 cool. But, um. I, like I said, uh, the podcast is, is great, and I, I look forward to both Mini Mondays and the podcast that comes out during the week. Oh, thank you, Brenzi. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm hogging this mic. You can have a you turn. Kind of are, <laughs> you can have a turn. <laughs> thank you. I feel like <laughs> I'm the same way. You have to hold it. Oh, oh okay. okay. I was telling you you're going to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think one of my favorite parts about uh, watching the podcast is, like, I feel like I'm watching the movie with you all. Every time, like, if I haven't seen the film, like, I'm like, okay, cool. This is what happens, like second by second yes because Look. we're from yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well it's interesting even hearing you guys talk about midsummer because technically i have not seen it ketrin just told it to me yeah but like i know everything you're talking about i feel like i've seen it yeah. and then it's super interesting to watch the movie after yeah. we've heard it yeah. yeah and that's the thing i like about the podcast too is one of you has only seen the movie and the other one hasn't seen the movie right. which i think is a great concept because you get the idea of the other one doesn't know what's going to happen when one is telling the story as to what's happening, the other one's kind of like, oh, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen? And I think in a way, for me, a, a lot of people make a big deal about spoilers. And for me, they honestly, do. Uh, yeah. for me, honestly, unless it's a Marvel movie. Now, when it's a Marvel movie, I'm a whole yeah. different. Me too. I get crazy. Do not uh, fuck with me with yeah. the Marvel movies. Yeah. If it's a superhero movie or something that I know that I want to see, I will not take spoilers. But however, if it's like movies that like horror and stuff like that, I can deal with spoilers because I like to see how it plays out on screen. I would, yeah, I mean, I would agree. I, I don't think I knew I was that person until we started the podcast. But yeah, the first movie that I watched after Kim told it to me because of the way she described it to me was Mandy. And that was the one where I was like, I got to see this shit. <laughs> and, it, and, and it was cool. It was like a whole other experience because not only was I watching the movie, which was really cool, but I was also like watching Kim's Brain which is like one of my favorite shows. So uh, that was really, that was really fun. <laughs> um, so you guys got a live show coming on Sunday, which already, as of this recording, already passed. So the episode yeah. probably You be missed a, it. You missed it. Good job. It should have been a midsummer screen at Pulp Fiction Comics. <laughs> um, but you guys have a live show. Tell us a little bit about how that got organized. I, I'm super excited to see you guys in person finally. Uh, our our manager slave set it up. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Yeah, he. I I mar I married well. There you go. I married someone who will produce, manage, edit, carry things, <laughs> remind us of things, set up shows, do all the things. <laughs> so that's how this came about. You can thank Eric Lane Martin over there. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate that. Very much but looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, we've been wanting to do a live show for a while, and it kind of just, like, we just, like, brainstorm lots of things. or like, sleep Kim, as we like to call. <laughs> you know what ideas just come to you in your sleep? Oh, yeah. Like, those are all your magic ideas. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, when everything's just pop into our brain, we're like, we should do this. <laughs> and so we were going to Midsummer, and we're like, what if we did a live show <laughs> around Midsummer? Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then it just just went on from there yeah also you guys couldn't have chose a better location because not only am i going to see one of my favorite podcasts i get to go shop for comics at the same time yes, yes. you do <laughs> and make sure you do shop. they they have quite the collection it's really yeah i i go to a comic book store in my my town in norwalk and um I, I, I go every week to pick up some comics, so I'm excited to see what graphic novels they have and stuff, so I can get some stuff while I'm there. Yeah, they are rad. Yeah, Very awesome. much. Looking forward to it. Um, all right, so this is the part of the podcast where we uh, you guys have a little game for us. We, we do. do. Do you want to go first? Mm, you know you want to go first? Yeah, you pick. 
What are we doing? We'll go oh, no, first. Wait. You, let you go stay first. alive. But we have, we have stay two alive. scenarios yeah. for you. Well, so you down for that? Here's what you're going to oh, do. You're going to play rock, paper, scissors. All right. Ooh. You're going you're to play rock, paper, scissors, but it's actually bat, axe, burp, smap. <laughs> Bat, axe, burp, smap. Okay, so if you, if you, for those of you that don't know what burp, smap is, it's because Kim couldn't think of the name of the little Sam character in Trick or Treat, and it has evolved <laughs> into its own. I was trying to say he had like a burlap sack <laughs> head, but like, you know, words. 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 <laughs> and I was Grammar. like, he was like a burp, smap, and then burp it's just snap. like. It just evolved, and now like everyone who listens is just big fans of burp, smap. Yeah. Burp, smap. So, so. Axe is scissors. Axe is scissors. Bat is rock. Bat is rock. Burp map is paper. Burp map is paper. So, so it's gonna be axe. burp map. Burp Axe. Axe. Shot bat. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Megan. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Megan. All right. So you guys, you guys do it. All right. So you it's ready? bat or yeah, you do. It. Is it axe, bat? Oh Burp snap. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was Axe. And what did you put out? I was out? trying to go for paper. And, uh, uh, well, then you win. I win. Yeah, you win. I win. You win. All right, win. so so who do you want to go first? Oh, yeah, so who do you want to go first? <laughs> um, we, we didn't we've prepare we, this part. Dealer's yeah. choice. I'll let you two choose. Oh, I am fine with any you, of them. You go, f- you go first. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Always. Somewhat. To try I'm to always. stay alive. Always, yes. Here's the situation. A zombie virus has broken out. You and three other survivors have managed to get a car and you're on your way out of town. Then you get a flat tire as you're going through a tunnel. You stop to jack up the car, but you're distracted because you're like overcome by rats that are just running towards you like so many fucking rats. (laughs) And then you realize that the rats are trying to get out just as much as you are because now you see the shadows of the motherfucking zombies coming at you. So you don't have time to use the jack to lift the car to change the tire because these are fast fucking zombies. What do you do? I think I'm following the rats. I'm running this. Way. I'm running. He's just running I'm out of there. No, I'm out of there. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna even try to fight because I've seen where that goes. Okay. I'm out of there. I'm running as fast as I can. If there's, I don't know where. I don't know where the tunnel's gonna take me. But either that, or if there's other cars in there, I'll jump in a car and hide in there. Oh, that's Those an are, interesting but choice. But I think I have to think I'm gonna lean towards more running. run i'm gonna give you each half a ding we don't have our bell with us but usually there's a ding situation so one total ding ding um because i i think with like walking dead zombies you can maybe outrun them but these ones i'm not sure you might be dead dawn of the dead they're really really fast and so even if you can outrun them they don't have any issues with like they're not going to get out of breath like they can run like that forever (laughs) so i think that but the reason i I would say the reason they got a half was because looking for somewhere to duck in was a good was a good move i think Yeah. yeah right right uh what they do in the movie is the uh three of the people lift the car and one person continues changing the tire just in time to start the car and drive away from the zombies I would have never thought of that. You know what? If I just was lift g- the car with your bare fucking hands. If I was the guy to fucking lift the car, I would be <laughs> so terrified. The fact that I am going to die, <laughs> that I would not be able to focus. Or even the guy changing the tire, I would just not be able to focus. Yeah, I feel like changing the tire would be almost be the harder part. Yeah. Like, <laughs> your hands are shaking yeah, and you're just like, like... No doubt. Like, you know what's coming and just the fact that you're like, I got to hurry up and do this. And if I mess up one step, we're dead. Yeah, at least lifting the car, you just have like adrenaline strength of yeah. just like mom saving children where you're just like, we need to survive. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, is. Bonus question. Do you know what movie that's from? I'm going to say... I'm going to go, I got two in mind. World War Z or Dawn of the Dead? What's yours? I'm going to go Dawn of the Dead. I don't know. I don't watch He's like, I don't, I don't know horror movies. Uh, We've discussed I, I forced this guy uh, to watch it. <laughs> it's 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. That's good. Good guess. Classic, though. too. Okay. Yeah. Cut's yeah. turn. Okay, that was your warm-up. Warm-up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Challenge round. Here we uh, go. Because this one is tough. All right. I'm not going to lie. All right, so I need you to sort of picture what I'm saying because... It's a little bit more abstract, okay? You wake up in a strange room. It's a cube. This is not a happy room. 
you don't know what it is, but you know you don't want to be there. You're in trouble and you have no idea how you got there or who brought you here. There are several doors through which you can go, okay? All the doors lead to similar looking rooms to the one you're in. There is nothing about them different than the one you're in, but there are many choices of doors and you know you've got to get out of here. What do you do? You put me in a situation where if I walk into the room, they all look alike too. That's, right. That's just, that's going to be a hard one. You also don't know what is actually uh, in those rooms. Yeah, there could be anything. Yeah. Happening. They do look have, empty, but doors do we have? Seven, uh, right? I would say probably like nine to 12. Nine, nine to 12. 12 yeah. Doors. I'm going to let you decide right now. <laughs> You're the one that's going to make us die guy? or not die. <laughs> what do you say? I'm going, I'm, I'm going with what's behind door number two. Okay, okay. Door number two. And what are you going to do when you, like, you can go into any of the, the rooms. What are you going to do? I'm going to open the door, see what's in there. Okay, okay. Um, and if I don't like what's in there, maybe try one more or two more doors. Okay, okay. I think I am going to go with lucky number seven. Okay. Uh, and if I open it and there's something in there, I'm going to fight. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna spear his ass to the ground, and I'm gonna go until I. It, here's my rule about any horror movie. Yeah. If it can bleed, it can die. Okay. Ooh, All right. I like that rule. If it can that's bleed, a good rule. it can die. That. I like that. That's so, good. Um, um. That's my. That's what I'm gonna do. Fight to I, the death. Fight to the death. I respect you guys too much to go easy on you, so I'm gonna have to tell you that you're both dead oh. we died so here's what happens you randomly choose one of the doors this is what happens in the movie you randomly choose one of the doors you hop down into the next room take a step forward and you are fucking cubed like a garlic grater I feel like i know what this is it's from. booby trapped okay. so the only way that you could have stayed alive would have been to go into any of the rooms and perhaps this was my suggestion throw a shoe into the room and see if anything happens or even stick your arm out because it's like hey you lose an arm but at least you know what's in there so i'm so sorry and but this is your first time so it, it is we heated expecting. so i would get it cauterized right real quick yeah <laughs> i won't bleed out so yeah there you go i'm gonna say that movie is I'm like Saw. I'm like Saw movie. i feel in resident evil cube it's called the cube cube yeah. I, I've seen something similar happen in Resident Evil where yeah. like, the lasers come and boom. And this is the first fucking scene of the movie. Oh my oh, wow. god. Yeah. If that doesn't show you to want to watch the movie, I don't know what will. Yeah. Yeah. So we haven't know. done it yet, but we might do it for an episode. Oh, I can't wait to hear that one. Yeah. That should yeah. be fun. So that was, that was, that was, that was, we, we both would die. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> death is inevitable, so. There you go. Death How existential of you. Way to put a positive spin on yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Um. <laughs> So what can you tell us about what's possibly, potentially coming in the future for Kim and Kat? We're writing a movie. Writing a movie. Uh-oh. Yeah. Kim and Kat's Stay Live movie. Oh. So we're pretty stoked about that. That sounds like fun. Yeah. And I, all I will say is that, like our podcast is a uh, horror comedy podcast, Definitely. our movie will also be a horror comedy. Horror comedy. But that's all I'm saying. You can't get another word out of me. Can't get another word. Hey, that's that's good enough. You heard it here first. <laughs> they are writing a movie, and that's all we're getting from them. That's it. And then oh. probably some more live shows. We'd love live to shows. get on the docket. If I could suggest a place that was very reasonable, that when we were going to do a podcast with a guest, they were really open arms to doing it. Uh, it's a pizza bar place in Long Beach called The Fourth Horseman. The fourth horseman. And it's that's a horror themed. That's horror themed. Ooh. Yeah. They were, it's actually just off the street. We were going to do, we, and it, it's still in the works, but we were going to do a, a podcast with the composer from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, John Mazzari. Okay, do you want to hear a little secret? You guys are going to do one too, right? Uh, the episode coming out. I don't know. Two Let's weeks or so. We two, just recorded. Yeah, we just recorded Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That is probably look at I just bought the mask. Oh my Actually, god, that's amazing! Yeah, it's amazing. I got that uh, Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, bring it on. Trick or Treat Studios is selling these bad boys. That right is here. amazing. This is fat so. So Kim, does that does that one scare you? That clown? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> if it like stares you in the soul. I mean, I don't like any clowns. He yeah. won't stop looking at me, and he's smiling a lot, but. 
<laughs> but that's not, it's not the clown that scares you. You know what? The more I look at it, the less <laughs> I like it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I immediately bought this guy downstairs when I got in today, and I put it on. Love I had to. I had to. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite horror movies, and um, we are in the works of potentially getting the directors as well. Ooh. So, that's awesome. Um, I hope that goes through because I have so many questions. I was just going to say, I was like, lots of questions. Lots so of questions. Lots and we're taking, we're going to, if we do get this podcast, we're going to be taking fan questions too. So awesome. My Definitely. question will be, what is your mythology? mythology? What is the mythology of these clowns? Please exactly. Tell me. I want to know where they come from. I want to know everything about yeah. them. My um, question would be, tell me about the people running in place. Because <laughs> that's the only thing I remember. <laughs> do, you, do you guys notice, like, in the last scene, it's like they didn't have a dolly. So, like, they had, it looks like they don't have a dolly. So, they're running in place. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. They, uh. I don't know. I didn't watch the movie. That was just something Ketron told me. <laughs> that's something. I, that's definitely a bucket list movie you should watch, though. That's okay. one. I, I. That's one of my favorites, and um, I'm very excited. Okay. Yeah, you it gotta get drunk like and watch it. it. That sounds. That sounds like it. Yeah. Because these. I, I would say, t- for the movie made in '88, the clown makeup still looks good to this day. I, I think so. Did are you? Did you ever watch that show, The Dinosaurs? That was like Dinosaur. sort of puppety, life-size dinosaur thing. I don't think I ever saw okay. that. Google that because okay. it basically looks like they took those dinosaurs and painted clown makeup Clowns on them. On them? <laughs> yeah, it was on like. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> <I> don't know. <laughs> it was. A, it was Fox on like so TGIF in like yeah. the '90s or something. That is hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> any last words? Oh, that was my last dying words. Last dying um, words. I don't know. Good we're fans. super. We're super grateful to have you guys as fans. We're so flattered and honored, and you know, we're just you know hoping that you stay alive. We're trying. I don't think. I don't think we did <laughs> a good. Two. Over two. Over two. <laughs> Over two. You know what though? It's so, it's funny because I actually do play along at the. Even if I've seen the movie, I play along. Yeah. Because it's one of those things where I want to know for myself. Will I stay alive? Right? Will I not? It kind of doesn't matter if you've seen the movie because it doesn't necessarily mean you would do the same thing the characters Would I make the stupid decision the blonde made or would I go straight towards the door? <laughs> right. Exactly. That's usually how it is in horror movies. I don't know why it's it is. blonde, but yeah. like, mm-hmm. I, I just, I don't know. It's rude. I mean, I guess, do you want to tell people where to find us? Sure. Should we? Go plug yourself in. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Well, we are on social media at KK Sam Podcast. Instagram and Twitter. Uh, we're, our website is www.kimandketstayalive.com. And you can find our podcast on all the things. Yeah. Apple. I watch it on YouTube. Oh. YouTube, yes. Spotify, Stitcher, PodCoin, all the things. All we're the everywhere. Things. Yeah, we have cool merchandise at Threadless, which you can get to through our um, website. And if you want bonus content, bonus videos bone con bone con if you will uh you can join our patreon and uh see us act like idiots we really (laughs) because they'll put some behind the scenes videos up on their social media sometimes and it has me laughing (laughs) it really does and that's why i'm excited to see them tomorrow uh if you guys missed the show i am sorry you guys missed out we're gonna have more we're gonna gonna have have more so stay tuned. Listen to their podcast to find out when they're going to have more. Ladies, thank you for being part oh of Summer gosh, of Guests. Thank you so much we for having us. Be, have, thank you even more because uh, we, we were trying to figure out this lineup. And when I decided who I wanted to be on the podcast, you were the name on the top three. Oh, so Definitely. Because I've been you. listening to the podcast for so long. And I was like, I need to, I need to find out. Thanks. I need to find out. Yeah. Thank you all for uh, coming. And uh, hopefully uh, you all have a fun mid-summer screen. You summer too. Screen. Yeah. Thank, thank you so all. much. We will see you guys next week on the Minosaur Podcast. That will do it for today. Bye. Bye.